Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how this little piece of plastic is going to make this Ryobi dethatcher better on Dad It Yourself. So I just finished dethatching my front lawn and then ran the mower over it. And you can see all the dry lines where the dethatch has been pulled up with the power rake. And look at all that moss got all ripped up. It's really good at pulling all the moss out. Well, I haven't done the backyard yet. And what I've been using is this Ryobi cordless 18 volt, which is a misnomer. It's a 36 volt, takes two 18 volt batteries, not in series, in, or excuse me, in series, not in parallel. The only thing that I don't like about this unit, and this is the European version, they have an American version now, is the bag that comes with it. It fills up way too fast. I mean, let me show you real quick. This is just from the front yard. Okay, this is a 95 gallon green can. So there's about 70 gallons of grass in there. And this little teeny bag would fill up like 27 times. So what I do is I just pull the lid up like that and I hold it up with this bungee cord. But there has got to be a better solution than this. Leaving the flap down, it creates these big hay bales and it slows down the motor. So let me see if I can come up with a solution with 3D printing. So this is what I've got. And I think this is actually a pretty good height for this. The stuff coming off hits right here and then blows back down onto the lawn. And so what I think, originally I was thinking about doing a clip that held this up, but the distance here just isn't right. And I don't want to bring this up any higher. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is build some kind of wedge that goes in right here. And then it has this little hook point where the bag would go in. I think I can use that as a positive stop. And then come along this face here to about, I don't know, right about there. And then just go up and then back down again and then square that off right there. Get my trusty micrometer out and take some measurements. All right, so got the prototype here. Basic as basic comes, but let's try it out. Well, that looks terrible. That is not what I needed. So let me see here. I'll draw some lines here. See if we can get some better angles on this. That's what we want there. And I definitely That's going to be right here. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. Well, let's go take some measurements, make the changes to the model, and reprint it again. All right, let's try this again. Prototype number two. This slope's a lot narrower and it's a little bit smaller. Let's see if we can get it in there. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, what do I think? I think that that is pretty close. Got a little bit of this edge right here. And I think that's gonna work. Pretty happy with that. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. I 
I could probably fix that angle right there, but it's really not that big of a deal. It kind of locks itself right in there, sits flush against the bottom, and holds that up nicely. Just need one for this side now. All right, so I've got those two in there. Looks like it's working great. And I got my back lawn to dethatch. Let's get that done. blocks really did the trick holding this flap open and I got to get rid of that bungee cord. I got to do a couple of little modifications on this but this is going to be a real winner and if you're interested in getting a pair of these for your Ryobi dethatcher there'll be a link down below to my Etsy store in the coming weeks. If you have any questions or comments about this project, this tool, or anything else I've done put those down below. Speaking of comments don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and if you do hit that bell for notifications. If I've done anything in this video that's helped you out or any of my other videos, consider giving me a super thanks or becoming a channel member. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Get out of yourself.